Captain Matt, boater secret weapon here with the unwritten rules of boating etiquette. In my mind, the first unwritten rule of boating etiquette is you have to wave at every other boater on the water. Just from a, as a kid, it was something that we always did and I still always do it. Next, at the boat ramp. The etiquette at the ramp is, I think, one of the, the biggest areas where people just don't understand. Prep in the staging area, and some of these are actually written. Get your battery on, get your gear loaded, your passengers ready, your transom straps off. Get everything prepared so that when you get ready to back down the ramp when it's your turn, that you can just back down, you unload the boat, you get it tied up, you park your trailer quickly, and you get back to the ramp quickly, and you get off the dock, or if there's somebody else that can operate the boat, they pull the boat off the dock and free it up for the next person. If you are the only person that can operate the boat, tie your boat as far back on the dock as you can so that you're not back blocking access to that boat ramp. So tie it way up off to that very back cleat that you can get, or if they have transient docks, um, go ahead and use those. Never, ever, ever leave your boat or your truck or boat parked at the ramp, just sitting there right in the way of everybody so nobody else can do anything until you finish what you're doing. No. And then also use transom straps. Always use transom straps. Bad things can happen. And be efficient but don't rush. So if it's if you don't know what you're doing, get the training that you need so that you do know how to do it properly, how to back properly, how to load and unload, and use your equipment. Uh, we've got the trailer like a pro program. If you're rafting up, if you pull up to an island, be respectful of other boaters and their space. Anchor your boat so it holds properly. What, what I see happen sometimes is people go and they throw the anchor out and they go up on the beach and they're off partying and they're doing whatever, playing with the dogs. The anchor gives and now their boat's floating into other boaters. And other boaters are now having to take responsibility for your boat because it didn't hold. And be respectful of the music that you play, um, You know whether it's lyrics or whether it's volume. Understand that you're not the only one there. Not everybody may like your George Jones and Conway Twitty, so play it at an appropriate level and pick up your trash and leave the area in great condition. Listen, we are fortunate to have beautiful waterways and islands but when you leave your bottles and your trash and your coals from your grill and just garbage all around, somebody else is going to have to pick that up or it ends up in the waterway and just trashing up the whole area. Take care of your own trash and, and pick it up. Have a plan for that. At the gas dock, as you're coming in through that no wake zone, get your dock lines and fenders prepared in that no wake zone. It, it, it's I used to work at the gas dock at a marina in college and it just blew me away the number of people that would come up and they would get to the dock. And then they would start to get their fenders and their dock lines out. Meanwhile, there's other people waiting to get to the gas and you're dilly dallying around when you should have had that already before you even got to the dock. As a safety precaution and as a courtesy to others, know how to fuel your, your boat. If you have a stern drive or an inboard, turn that blower off while you're fueling. Fuel up. And once you get done fueling, hang up the hose. While you're paying and doing that, now turn on your blower. You can even open your engine compartment and vent it with natural airflow, but don't run that blower while you're fueling. It can actually suck in the gas fumes instead of blowing them out. Be fast and move your boat so the next boater can get access. If you're getting ice cream or getting snacks, hey, fuel up. If they can, slide out of the way so that the next person can get to that fuel pump and then do your thing. Turn your music down or turn it off. And remember, just like at the sandbar, if it's offensive lyrics, if it's too loud, not everybody wants to hear your music. And never, ever, ever pull a tuber into the gas dock area. There's too much traffic. There's too much congestion. It's dirty, nasty water with gas spills. There, If you're in fresh water, there's danger of electrocution if there happens to be uh, any electrical current that's getting into the water from the marina somewhere. It's just too much of a nuisance to everybody else. Pull, stop at that no-wake zone, get your dock lines and fenders ready, and pull the tube in and get those kids in the boat or the adults in the boat before you get up there. No-wake zones, idle speed, check your wake. Pay attention. Pay Again, pay attention to your music volumes and the lyrics and check your wake again. You put out a bigger wake than you expect if you're going over idle speed. So if you're at a bar or a restaurant, the docks can get really crowded. Wait your turn. Make sure that you, you pay attention to what boats are already there and when you get in there so that you can it kind of a first come first serve basis, talk and listen to the dock hands, you know, say, hey, I want to back into this slip or I'm going to pull in over here and listen to what the dock hands tell you. They do this every day and they can help you and they can make it easier for you. Pay attention to the winds and the currents, turn down your music um, or turn it low so that you can focus on the docking. And if it's busy, 
don't just sit in their docks eating and drinking your own food, taking up a space of somebody that could be going up to the restaurant to pay. Um, it, it's inconsiderate at night. The only lights you should have on when you're underway is your anchor and your navigation light. Red, green, bow light, and your all-around 360 white light. No other lights when underway, especially LEDs, those spreader lights and the spotlights. Listen, they can give night blindness to others that are on the water. Docking lights, the same thing. Only in tight quarters. If you need that spotlight or you need the dock line, turn them off, see what you need to see, and turn them back off. And just as a tip, if you're night boating, the darker you keep it in the in your boat, the easier it is to see everything out on the water. So the darker you keep it in your boat, the easier it is to see. Now, when you're out partying, you got guests on the boat that aren't typically used to being around water, hey, let them know. These are the boating rules. No trash in the water. Watch your liquor. It can it can sneak up on you. You get a little bit drunker a little bit quicker when you're on the water with the heat and the sun and the dehydration and the sweating. And remember that sound travels on water very, very well. Etiquette on your boat. What are your rules? No spray sunscreen. Food that you don't want. Red wine. The bathroom. Can it be used or not? And chipping in for fuel or, and what's your kind of ex expectation? Just let them know. And then the actual written rules. Kids that are 12 and under have to wear their life jackets when underway. Explain where the prop is and to avoid it. Explain that your butts need to be in the seats. Keep your hands in the boats. Don't lean over the side to look at the fish and the dolphin and the ducks. All of those things, just let them know what the rules are so that everybody is safe. I give this kind of captain's briefing in the best boat captain on the water training, uh, which is really good. If you are pulling water sports, pay attention. If you're pulling tubers especially, watch the range of that tow rope and the arc that it's going to swing so you don't inadvertently swing the people on the tube into an obstruction, a dock, a buoy, another boat. Have a watcher that's paying attention. Understand the hand signals, you as the driver and the people on the that are being towed. Ensure rider never just drops in the middle of traffic. Jump off the tube, throw the handle. Make sure that you let them know, hey, if you're done, if you want to be done, other than just falling off, then give me the cut sign and we'll go to an area where there's no traffic and we get out of the get out of the way of everybody so we don't put you in danger and others and you have the right of way but you don't own the water okay that means you need to pay attention to other boaters be aware of the area that you're tubing or are skiing in and that you're not doing it in the main channel area with paddle boarders kayakers Remember, they have the right of way. Give them plenty of clearance. Watch your wake. Slowing down actually makes a bigger wake for them to deal with. So sometimes speeding up and going past them a far distance away is the nicest thing you can do. And if you are a stand-up paddleboard or a kayaker, hey, use your head and avoid the main channel in some of the busy areas, especially on really busy days. Same thing with smaller boats, uh, fishing boats. Give them plenty of clearance. Watch your wake. Remember, if you're a fisherman, don't be fishing right in the main channel. Don't be fishing at a narrow bridge where there's a tight walk, walk through, whatever you call that. And be respectful and friendly, even if it's your not boating style. Understand that everybody's using the water different and be respectful. And then the jet skiers, again, give, give them plenty of clearance, especially if it's a younger kid. They may not know the rules. They're not looking around. It's easy to whip those things around. Pay very close attention to what they're doing. They're likely inexperienced. Assume they're going to do something ridiculous and just be ready for it and avoid them at, if at all possible. And if you are out on a jet ski, pay attention. Don't jump the wakes really close to the boat. That is just a recipe for disaster and never, ever, ever jump the wakes if there's a skier or a surfer back there. Before you jump over, a, you make sure that there's nobody back there. That's your responsibility as the jet skier. If you want to know more actual rules of the road, check out this video, Boating Rules in 5 Minutes. It's a great video for new boaters. You can check out the Boater Bootcamp. If you're newer to boating, it's totally free. It's a three-part video series that you're really going to love about the things you don't know you don't know that could be an expensive um, or, or keep you off the water mistake. Best Boat Captain in the Water to give you total control of your boat in docking situations and maneuverability. And remember, life truly is better on a boat.